finally our deck is complete. Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna take, I'm gonna take you to the process of how we started this deck building and how these guys came and built and completed the deck. So watch the video and I'm gonna give you some explanations and be able to talk to people as well. And then finally the day has come. We, are, we hired a contractor basically to build our deck and yes, I realized after hiring um, that they do build decks in the winter, in the snow, in the United States. So this is something which came as a realization um, uh, to us that we were all we always used to think that the ground has to be thawed and all whatnot, but it seems like they have technology now to actually, they don't lay footing or foundation, they put some diamond piers which can be dug directly into the ground without any drilling any holes or anything. But yes, they have to clear the snow like they're doing right now. And it's a manual hard work. This guy is literally shoveling the snow out by hand. I mean, painful. I could imagine because there's already three or four feet of snow and them on the ground. And he has to clear like wherever they have marked. You can see that. They have to go and uh, he has to manually clear that and make way uh, for the things. I think that is the staging area there. They're going to put all the materials there and they're going to start constructing. So that guy has cleared so much ground. I mean, that is tough work. He has been working for so long. He finally cleared up the shovel and um, cleaned up all that snow for the deck to go in. So tomorrow, um, these guys are gonna come in and put some um, piers around that line. I think 11 footings and they'll start framing. So when they deliver the decking material, they actually come here in this truck, which has a forklift, um, a crane type of item. And they actually take that and place that in your driveway. So I have requested them to put them on the third car garage stall just because I can pull my cars out um, but they're gonna start working most likely today so that guy actually cleared the snow if you as you see and um, the material which was dropped in front of our uh, garage on the driveway actually was some of them were these which you see here these are the ones which i was mentioning as diamond piers so those balls you see those are like concrete reinforced some kind of material that is what goes into the ground so they don't take holes that is the pitch one they just use nails long nails to um uh to place them into the ground um, and then the foundation. So if you see those, those, I don't know how we call it, rods. Yeah, rods. Uh, those are the ones actually which will grow on those holes and they will hold that in place. And then the foundation of the deck is gonna go over it. They were supposed to start today. Right now, I have no idea if they're gonna be making it because it's raining and we're expecting a half inch of rain today. So we'll see. Finally, they moved all the wood from the front to the back I think three or four guys came today to start the work and it's raining cats and dogs so also they have put a trailer here um, yeah on the driveway I hope they have not damaged it but all I can do is hope I think they do their, this job day in and day out so they know what it is like so hopefully it is all good you see they did put the blocks um, in there like that if you see the blocks there but let's see so finally they started working on our deck putting the foundations in so if you look at that pier stud that's what the one i was talking about um so yeah that basically they're initially when i told they're not going to dig a hole they're actually digging a hole for that place because it's a slope which comes down so to avoid, so what, what they had to do is they have to bring all the three poles from uh, all the way here to here to one single level. 
so they're getting this ledger board off so when we when i initially told when we built the house i told the builder to put this ledger board so that in future if we put the deck on it'll be easier for us but now i realize that <laughs> they have to move the ledger board anyways um because of the height and um the the width of the deck adjustment they need to do something so they're going to get to move that ledger board and they're going to take the sidings out and whatnot so they are doing that um <clears throat> Also, they um, have finally put that footing in there. Uh, I don't know how clearly you guys can see, but uh, they also have put um, a plate where the, the post is gonna go. So it's exciting. They have removed the siding from here. They're adding the ledger boats. Um, there's one small, there was one small problem that this uh, downspout actually needs to be moved to the left. I think they already did that a little bit. So that is going to be there and the deck is going to start here all the way um, to the other side. So this is the, the foundation there. So they're going to level that out. So it's the end of the day one's work and wow they did make a good progress of putting the foundation I'm coming out just now so that's how they put the diamond piers inside the into the ground so basically that's where the poles or posts that supports the beams are gonna be these beams so um, what is gonna happen is they're gonna take a hammer and actually put those pipes hit on the top of the pipes and they're gonna go inside so that's how they are drilled inside the inside the ground and i was told that they are so strong that a car can stand on this deck that's how they are built kind of coming along nice today is day two and they have covered a lot of ground with the framing so i'm happy um the owner of this company who is doing uh, designer space inc he was here to to supervise and i had to talk to him very good people they take care of you very well once the pier goes in they actually put an aluminum square kind of pocket they make out of uh, it, it comes it, it, it comes pre-cut and they fold it and make it a, a cup kind of thing and they slide this post into into that holder with the exact measurements so today is day three and we have winter storm warning going on so it's snowing basically but these guys are here working they came they started shoveling and they went and started building the deck I'm like amazed because I know it, I waited for so long for them to finish their previous projects come because this time the weather was so bad. The winter is like been snowing almost every other week or every week, literally. Um, but yeah, uh, these guys are up early. Nice and sunny out, our winter storm is over. And these guys have covered so much ground today. They have put all these um, two by twos laid out. I think they will be finishing that gap up pretty soon. And today is Friday, so I'm assuming by Monday they'll start the next phases of the deck, which I don't know what it'll be, but I will show you as, as I see and as they build it. So today is um, day four of the deck building process and they have made a lot of headway. They even have installed the posts for the stairs. So I'm gonna quick. So as you guys see, they have put all the, the spacers in between. I don't know, I think they have called spacers or um, on which the, the actual bedding of the, 
the deck will go that's what i mean so and also they have the staircase going and i don't know if you can see in the camera but somewhere there there's a there's something like that. on the other side but they have finished the framing and they have started uh decking um the the frame um with the the track selection we made so let's go and see what kind of material we find for decking in us here and um since my first house which was seven ten years ago the decking industry has gone like light years ahead because now you can get fiber um fiberx materials so um not just wood not just cedar you can use any kind of fiberx materials and they have very high quality and low, basically no maintenance you don't have to maintain that deck at all like wooden deck needs staining these decks do not um so one important thing is uh, i mean all the fiber materials are same but it depends on the choice so let's go and take a look at the one we chose so when you start building a deck, uh, deck you have different kinds of options for uh, building it like composite and whatnot so we are going with trex transcend these are like tropical and earth tone kind of material they look like wood but they have a feel of a plastic so that's how it looks the interior so what they do is the builder actually after you finalize um, the design and everything they drop these kind of materials to choose from like what kind of material do you need for a deck and they'll let you choose what options you have uh, they also have railings these posts comes in different dimensions there are lots of things you can do with your deck chose two colors um, one is a lighter version and the second one is the darker version to match with the siding of the house so deck is going to kind of blend into the house that was our idea um, it's not going to be separate color it's going to be like similar oh um, one thing which I forgot or not shown you guys is the stairs if you see they have already built the stair um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the frame of the stairs um, that has also been built so it's coming up nice So today is day six and the deck building is coming along really nice. So as you can see, um, most of the framing is it's done except the stairs, I guess. And they are now actually um, putting the tracks material that is the composite which we chose on the deck they're laying it. We chose a design actually, a little more expensive, but we wanted to go herringbone style. So what they're doing is they're doing, um, as you can see, an angled version of the layout. And then in the middle, they're gonna put a footboard. Um, and it's it's the, the color is gonna be the same, but it's just differentiating so that we have like different sections. <laughs> So today is end of day seven, and I think they have started boring, um, boring the decks because we chose different colors. So the main floor is gonna be gray, but the edges will be brown. They have already built stairs as well. Um, as you can see, um, footings are in, everything is in. They just need to put the flat board so that becomes stairs. So yeah, a lot of great progress has happened in just one day. Let me tell you something. Today the temperatures were around minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit um, and the wind chills were around minus 30 or so. Um, we had wind chill warning. And so these guys actually um, came in the morning, uh, a little late in the morning, and they actually worked through the whole day in that freezing thing. And I was scared and I was like, I've been asking them, do you need coffee? Do you need anything? They have been saying no, no, no. I mean, um, such um, humble guys, that's how I would say. But they have made again a great amount of progress. 
building the deck um, so that the the posts are in some of them at least this lot of finish and they've almost finished some of the stairs and I think they are done for the day it's been so cold and they have been working through um, it's the end of one of the days worth of work I did not get a chance to shoot in the morning but I finally hope it's super cold um, outside and I finally opened the door and they have done more work today so they have finished the putting the the posts they put the lights as well um, you can see the lights in there so actually the lights are somewhere there uh, for each post they also built and finished out the stairs um, I think tomorrow they're gonna start railing um, they have also I just realized that today that they did not bolt these things down today they did that as well um, and these guys are so awesome they come every day they clean it up and at the end of the day before they leave they, va they, they just blow everything out and they clean the deck and go I mean hands down very professional highly recommended people Finally, today's the last day and our deck is complete. Man, so they took around two and a half weeks approximately. Um, two things I have to say, okay. Uh, the temperatures are freezing. Like literally today is like, there was a warning, winter warning and below it is below 30 outside. Tomorrow is gonna be like that. These guys are, I don't know what they're built off. They came every single day to do the work they put do it they put some tents and local heaters but it is not sufficient i can show you because i was there just now with them for five minutes walking through the deck to see how they did um i literally froze i mean everything was red and i couldn't stand more than 10 minutes outside and these guys have been working they work almost every day from 8 a.m 8 30 a.m till four o'clock i just don't know how to do it and how they do it um, but I asked them, do you guys wear any warmers or anything? Of course, they do some body warmers, but not the arms. And they said that you get used to it. I'm like, oh, okay. Anyways, but these guys have done just an awesome I job. I really like these guys. And I, I would highly recommend them to anybody who wants to build a deck. Mm -hmm.